welcome to Anstruther, a part of Scotland that I've never been to before and this town here is going to be my home for the next four days while I go and explore the East Nook of Fife. Like I say, part of Scotland I've never been to before. Super excited to get out and do some photography. And basically this area is full of quaint, picturesque coastal villages and stunning seascapes which is of course one of my favourite things to photograph so I'm super excited for the next four days and I can't wait to share the journey with you all. Anstruther before and I'm just taking a great deal of time just to walk around and immerse myself in this town and I've got to say it's actually a stunning stunning town and I wasn't really sure what to expect here because it's there's a lot of quaint and picturesque villages around this area but Anstruther is one of these places that I hadn't heard much about for photography but it's absolutely beautiful and what a stunning view just check this out Exploring this beautiful harbour here. This wasn't what I intended to shoot tonight. There's a little lighthouse at the end that we're going down to in a minute that I'm going to shoot. But as I'm walking around this harbour, there's so much to offer here in terms of different pleasure boats and yachts. And I'm trying to find some beautiful leading lines leading in to the town itself because we've got a lovely, beautiful clock tower in the middle of the town, which I'm guessing is on a lovely, um, you know, a church or something, which is a which is hitting the light really, really nicely, giving some context to the image. And it's just, it's so beautiful here tonight. This morning we had torrential rain and um, it was very, very dreich, as I said, in many parts of Scotland. Um, the weather forecast tonight was meant to improve, but I wasn't that hopeful given the, the horrible morning we had. But it is just stunning. <laughs> and where most people would shoot the sunset is happening over here. Now we, we have got some beautiful light happening over there just now, streaming through the clouds and hitting the, the waves here. And we've got some nice silhouettes of some of the buildings and monuments that are on the horizon. But there isn't the best of compositions in that direction. So what I'm trying to do is catch the light as it's hitting some of the objects on the land, as I did a minute ago over there, as it was hitting that tower, that clock tower, and some of the boats in the harbour. And what that does is it adds real contrast to your subject matter. So when I first started photography, I would always shoot into the sunset. Into the sunset, so you had that beautiful light and all the golden glows and everything in the sky. And that's great, and I still do that regularly. But one thing I've learned since is if you're not finding a good composition facing the sunset or the sunrise whatever time of day you're shooting when the light's beautiful, um, if you're not finding a good composition in that direction it's often quite good actually to shoot subjects in the opposite direction that the light is hitting because like I say it's adding contrast, it's adding shapes, it's adding shadows to the scene and often that golden light as it's hitting objects and the scenes around you can just add something, something extra to your images and transform your landscape. 
and you're also not getting that really harsh light and all that overexposure that you sometimes get when you shoot directly into the sunset. So just something to think about in the future if you're at a location and you're struggling to find a good composition that's facing the sunset or sunrise itself just look around you to where the light is being cast on the land and sometimes looking behind you or to the side you can find a composition somewhere else that looks just that little bit better a little bit more interesting and the light that's casting on the landscape it, at these times, these golden hours can really really transform a scene and create images of real interest I do with BBC The Social where I make short videos about Scotland and trips around Scotland and my landscape photography journey but I recently made a video about my quest to photograph every lighthouse in Scotland. Now there's 206 lighthouses in Scotland that are owned by the Lighthouse Board, the Northern Lighthouse Board, but there's other ones like this one here at Anstruther Harbour which are owned by harbours and other private people have bought them and you know all those kind of things. So there's actually a lot more than 206 lighthouses in Scotland. So I've actually scouted out a few lighthouses I'm going to shoot on this trip into this part of Fife. This wasn't actually one of them so this is a real bonus to come across this lighthouse tonight. I've been able to shoot it and get my image with it which is um, really really exciting but it's also great to be able to experiment with things like this. I just love the sea and I love harbours and I love quaint picturesque harbours like this one here. They're just so beautiful to photograph. And I've just been taking some images of me just now with this lighthouse showing my connection with lighthouses which is something that's going to be happening quite a lot in the coming years I think. Around all my normal YouTube stuff there's going to be my quest to photograph every lighthouse in Scotland. So therefore I'm very excited to get this on my list, this under my belt and uh, yeah it's super exciting. I'm now planning on sticking it around here for about another 20 minutes or so. Now the sun has now set as you'll probably see over here. I'm waiting for twilight to arrive for the light to come off this lighthouse so I can do some more photographs because I often think that when the light's flashing and you've got that twilight zone it's often the best time to photograph lighthouses so I'm excited for that and then once I've done that I'm heading to the fish and chip shop which has four times won an award for being the best fish and chips in the whole of Scotland and it's right here in Anstruther and you cannot come to Anstruther without checking out this fish and chip shop so I'm gonna sit out here for another like I say 20 30 minutes enjoy being out here enjoy immersing myself in nature and enjoy this stunning coastal scene that I've got around me before trying those fish and chips but fingers crossed when the twilight arrives it's gonna look lovely we're still gonna have some nice clouds in the sky and hopefully get some more interesting images of this lighthouse You're probably all gonna hate me for this but it's been a really long day today we've driven all the way down here we stopped off in St Andrews which you would have seen in the last episode but a lot of exploring around there and to be honest I am absolutely starving so I've decided to make the very difficult decision of forgetting about this twilight image tonight 
and basically just going and getting this award winning fish and chips, heading back to our accommodation and just having a relaxing evening because I've got so much photography and exploring to do the next four days that I just think tonight's a really good time to rest and relax. And as I'm wanting a photograph of this at twilight and the weather for the rest of the week is looking really good, there's a chance even if I'm at another location further down the road shooting sunset that we'll be back in Anstruther for twilight. So potentially later on this week I will get that twilight shot that I want and all will not be lost. But tonight I just feel like I am starving and I just keep getting this whiff of fish and chips across the marina and I can't take it anymore. So I'm sorry. No twilight photos tonight but I'm off to get these stunning fish and chips and I cannot wait. Thank you all again for watching. Sorry to cut it short but sometimes, just sometimes, you've got to treat yourself. I'll hopefully see you all again next time. So I've made the right decision to not go and wait for twilight because actually that lighthouse doesn't seem to light up or flash because there's other lights around it. Still there's an interesting light on it which would make for an interesting photograph but as it's not flashing I didn't miss out and I'm really really glad about that but we may still go back there later in the year. Got our fish suppers though, super excited to try them. So let's get on into Anstruther and let's get some photographs. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I'm going that way. I'm spinning. Um, go, go there, I won't be filming there. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, just a quick shout out to let you all know that I recently joined Twitter. So if you're into tweeting, please head over to Twitter now and follow me at at Kim G Photo. I've been posting a few things on there that I don't necessarily share anywhere else so it would be good to have as many of you along on the journey as possible. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram, please feel free to do so because I try and share a photograph on there every day and I'm trying to engage people more through my Instagram stories. So if you want to follow the Kim Grant photography journey away from YouTube and see some other aspects of the work that I do, those are the best two places to follow me. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you over there.